In this video, we're going to focus on the reflex testing of the peripheral nervous system. And we're going to look at mainly the C5, C6, C7, L4 and S1. We're going to use an instrument called a patella hammer. And, um, and I do find that the plastic ones are easier to use than maybe the more expensive metal ones. When we hold it, it is designed that we hold it towards the end rather than holding it close and tapping. So we try to use the weight of the hammer to do the work. We can also use the thumb, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. C5 reflex is basically around the bicep tendon. We can use our thumb to find the tendon. If you're not sure where it is, ask your patient to flex the elbow, and you can find the tendon, and what you can do is relax. I can put my thumb onto the tendon. I need to change the shape of the tendon. Okay, so it, and also place it onto slightly into a, relax, just relax now. Just let them relax against you, so that is a little, contract if you want in the tendon, even though it's now relaxed. Now, with my thumb on the tendon, I am going to just tap my thumb, and there is a, a reflex, and you can see, I'm just gonna just change the angle of that one. So from there, I'm gonna tap my thumb, and you can see that is movement of the bicep when my thumb is tapped. You can, for some patients, literally just tap there, and you can also notice a reflex. So you don't have to use your thumb all the time. That would be known as two pluses and that would indicate a normal reflex for the left C5, which is the nerve root of C5, which is the disc between C4 and C5. Now, when we test C6, if I ask you to flex your elbow, please, this is the brachioradialis, all the way down to the radial styloid process. Be careful tapping the tendon, because it's normally tender to tap for the patient. If you just tap somewhere in the belly of a muscle, you can see there is a slight reflex of the, the wrist, and also you might notice a reflex of the elbow. Some patients might pronate, some patients might supinate, depending on the position. You can use your thumb if you want to, and you can tap the thumb. I find it easier just to tap somewhere in the belly, and I tap it like that, and you can see a reflex. So again, C6 reflex is two pluses. C7, the easiest way I find is to bring the arm across the body, find the tendon of the olecranon insertion point here, the tricep. So the tricep comes in to the olecranon, and then be careful on pressure here, and then tap, and you can see a reflex within the tricep belly, and that is elicited through the C7 nerve root, okay, which is between C6 and C7 disc. So that would be two pluses for C5, 6, and 7. The next two we're going to focus on is L4. We're going to bend the knee slightly. You can use the thumb over the patella tendon if you want to. You don't have to tap it. You can literally just bend the knee slightly and then tap, and you can see the reflex. This is L4 test and again that is a two plus and the last one which is an S1 you can do this in two ways bring the leg across your leg dorsiflex the foot so you place it onto stretch from here tap the tendon and this is listed through the S1 and the last one we can do is we bring the ball of the foot up and then we tap the tendon as in the ball of the foot here we tap and you can see the reflex is very good and that would also be a two plus reflex and that will be how we test C5, C6, C7, L4 and S1.